So I want you to give a round of applause to a young man who speaks, who trains, who is a coach, and an in individual that's changing people's lives out of Miami, Florida. His name is Andy Enriquez. Give him a tremendous round of applause. Come on, give me a better man. You know, Vince Lombardi, he's a legendary coach. And here's what Vince Lombardi said. He said that winning isn't everything, but wanting to win. Wanting to win in spite of your past disappointments. Wanting to win in spite of the circumstances. Wanting to win in spite of the past disappointments. Wanting to win in spite of that conversation going on in your mind. Wanting to win, now that's everything. So I'm gonna start off by asking you a question tonight, Columbus. How many of you here really, I mean really wanna win? Raise your hands up high. Yes. Let me tell you something. I believe you. I believe that the most of us that we want to win when it comes to our finances, that, that we want to win when it comes to our relationships, that we want to win when it comes to our health, that we want to win when it comes to our goals and our dreams. But here's what I also know, that even when you want to win, even when the desire's there, that life has a way of introducing you with some unforeseen circumstances. Some, some unforeseen challenges, some setbacks that can make you feel as if you're just not winning. How many of you know what that feels like? Raise your hands. And so here's the question. Here's the question. If, if most people want to win, there's a desire to win, then why is it that most people aren't winning. I want you to think about that. And so I, I gave it some thought. And what I realized is that one of the reasons why people aren't winning is because most people aren't in alignment with their purpose. You see, most people aren't doing what they were called to do. They're, they're going through the motions. Yes, maybe perhaps they're, they're working a job, and, and maybe perhaps they're, they're finding a way to make a living. It was Les Brown that I heard say one time that life is not about making a living, but life is about living your making. And ultimately, ultimately, if you live your making, you'll make your living. And so here I was, I was, you know, a young boy growing up, and you know, I, I did everything that I was told to do. My mom, my father, they told me, Andy, listen, go to school, get a good education, get a good job, a good job with what, benefits? Have you guys heard some of that before? Yeah. Right? And so I did that. I went to school at Florida State University. I got, I got my, I graduated summa cum laude. I got my master's degree in corporate accounting. I studied and prepared for the CPA exam. I passed the exam. I landed a job in one of the largest professional service firms in the world, PricewaterhouseCoopers. And after three and a half years of working there, I realized that my life started to follow a basic routine. You see, I, I, I was waking up every single day to the sound of an alarm clock. I, I was jumping out of my, my bed. I was getting in my car and fighting traffic to get to a job in which I knew that I knew that something was saying, Andy, there's got to be more than this. Raise your hand if you've ever been in a place in your life where you were either in a relationship, a job, some place in your life where you knew that you knew, you knew, and you were saying to yourself, there's got to be more than this. Raise your hands if you know what that feels like. So for a long time, I was having this conversation. 
I, I was contemplating leaving it, and I knew, I said, you know, I, it was a struggle because I was thinking about the amount of time I put in school, the amount of time I put into work. I got my undergraduate degree, my master's degree. I sat, I prepared for the CPA exam, and now with, you know, in the world size, the largest professional service firm in the world, the appearance of winning, but I wasn't winning. And so I, I thought about taking a chance on myself. I, I thought about putting myself in alignment with my purpose. And in December of 2004, it became a defining moment. You know, Kevin Costner, the actor, there's a movie. And here's what he said. He said, when the defining moment comes, Either you define the moment, or the moment defines you. I want you to write that down. When the defining moment comes, either you define the moment, or the moment defines you. Either you define the moment you decide to take a chance on your goals and your dreams. Either you define the moment you decide to put yourself in alignment with that thing that you were called to do. Either you define the moment you finally decide to face the fear and move forward towards your goals and your dreams. Or the moment defines you. You become another statistic that says that 87% of people are showing up to jobs that they hate. The moment defines you. And you become a statistic that says one out of three people are unhappy and unsatisfied with their lives. In the United States alone, that's 100 million people. If you're sitting down right now, and there's someone to your right and your left, chances are one of them is unhappy with their lives. They're just, this, this is not it. And so here's what I realized. Somebody over there said, it's me. <laughs> I think there's a couple other people here that say it's me too, but I'm not going to speak out loud. So here's what I realized. How can you win if you're not passionate about something? Because here's what I know. When you see Les Brown, when you see people in their element, they're passionate about what they're doing. You see, winning takes passion. Winning takes drive. You've got to love it. You've got to want it. And you can't get passionate about somebody else's dream. You can't get passionate about going to a job and just simply punching in. You can't get passionate about going to a job in which they're paying you just enough for you to stay and you are putting in just enough time so they don't fire you. You can't get passionate about that. So in order to win, in order to win, you've got to ask yourself, what's my passion? What is it that I was called to do? What is it that, that I can wake up every single day and do and I know, I know in my heart that this is what I was designed to do? That maybe I have to work on it. That maybe I'm going to have to get some training. Maybe I'm going to have to ask my family, hey, I need your support with this. I know this sounds crazy. If you hear less the story, there's many people in this family that said, Les, why don't you just go get a job? Sears is still hiring, you know, that's cracks me up every time he says that. There's going to be some people around you, but sometimes you got to have the conversation and say, hey, look, listen, I've got to do this. You, you don't understand, I, I have to do this. Because I want to win. And the important part of winning, ladies and gentlemen, is making sure that you're in alignment with your purpose. I want you to look at the person on your right and your left and say, find your purpose. Now I want you to do that with some energy, some passion, and conviction. Say, find your purpose. Find your purpose.